We're starting our walk here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. The intersection we're on is the intersection of Ala Moana Boulevard and Kali Road. Just across from us is the IHOP, and across the street over there was the old Wailana Coffee House, which has now completely shut down. Just to the right-hand side of us is the Ilikai Hotel, and then farther down Kali Road is going to be the Outrigger Reef Waikiki Beach Resort. We're gonna go ahead and start our walk here and show you a little bit of what's around. Look, there's ducks! <laughs> Look at the baby ducks! <laughs> There are so many ducks. You'll see ducks throughout the entire Hilton property and we've got some little baby ducklings. This is actually Bert. Bert was in one of our previous videos. If you've been watching this channel for a bit, you'll know that <laughs> whenever we film at Hilton Village, there's a lot of ducks. So starting here at this main intersection, the property spans, again, 22 acres, lots of stuff that you can see. You could probably actually never leave the Hilton Village. It has everything here. Shops, dining, restaurant activities, snorkeling tours luau's throughout the property lots of lush greenery you've got these man-made waterfalls over here on the right hand side super pretty and then over here we'll look at this sign there's a lot of these throughout the entire property and you can see kind of some other ones so this one is going to be one of the ones for the hilton village and they're also throughout waikiki as well so a little bit of history from the waikiki historic trail we're going to go ahead and continue in we're going to start over here and show you a map of the property this property, again, is huge. This walk could take us a little bit of a while. We've got a tracker and we will get our steps in today. This property also has two different Starbucks. So again, this is the main entrance over here coming in off of Kalia Road. Here is a map of our, of our property, of the property. <laughs> this is not my property. So we are located here. So we started our walk here. This is where we saw that main Hilton sign, Ala Moana Boulevard is here, Kalia Road is here. And then when you come into the property, you can come in one of two ways. You can either come in through Rainbow Drive to get to the main lobby if you're staying over there at that main area, or you can come in from this direction where the valet is. You can also come in that way as well. So we're gonna start here. And this Starbucks is the one over here on the right-hand side. So we're just gonna kind of walk through this to show you guys some of the shops all on the ground floor. Walk over to the lagoon, pass by the Great Lawn, swing back around over here by the beach. This is the Hilton's Lagoon, it's a man-made lagoon. A few restaurants, Bali, Paradise Lounge, and so forth. Coming around this way, we'll pass by the lobby, which you'll see here in the video. It is very, very crowded no matter what time of day. It gets super, super busy, but it is pretty fast. Over here is the Atlanta Submarine check-in booth. These are some other restaurants such as Tropics. Loop back and ground over here by the tower. Over here is Tapa Bar. They have really good live music as well. And then over here, some of these other towers, I believe it's this tower, um, the Grand Islander, that's a timeshare tower. And then we'll loop back around this way. So let us get started. So we'll go ahead and go this way. We're heading over to this main Kalia Tower. Kalia Tower is of course the one that's closest to Kalia Road, which is on my left-hand side. So we're over here by Starbucks. Let's go ahead and walk through. We'll cut through the Starbucks and then we'll cut through the inside to show you guys what some of the stores look like that's here at the Hilton property. So on the right hand side is the Starbucks. They don't do mobile ordering, unfortunately. So if you're here in the morning, lots of long lines. So lots of art on the left. And then over here is the Mandara Spa as well as more art up on the top over here. Really gorgeous property. And then throughout the property, you'll see these maps. Make sure to be cognizant of which direction the map is. The map out front has us on this side, but on this map, as you can see, we're actually on the left side. At first glance, I actually thought it was the opposite, but we are here where this red star is and we're gonna go around this way. Okay, so over here we've got a couple of different stores. This whole area for Hilton Village has different variations. There's a clothing company, jewelry store here. And then we're just gonna cut across, going through this main area where all the different restaurants are. There's a teppanyaki restaurant on the right-hand side. And this arrow over here points to Kalia Tower, which is on our right-hand side. Kalia Tower was the tower we were just in and where that first Starbucks was in. Kalia Tower aptly named because it is the closest to Kalia Road. So over here at this restaurant, super tasty. They serve teppanyaki style. It's called Aoki. You can take a quick look at their menu. Can I take a little bit of a peek? So some of their specialty entrees, some junior entrees, so kid-friendly menu if you're traveling with the kiddos. 
different cocktails, whiskey, wine, a few non-alcoholic drinks as well, tequilas, sodas, and so forth. This area is really nice too because it's got a lot of outside seating. And then this area that we're entering right now is the one that'll have a lot of the different shops. So on my left-hand side, Honolulu Surf Company. So if you do forget anything and you're staying here at the Hilton Village, whether that's sunscreen, floaties, clothing, board shorts, you'll definitely, you'll be able to purchase it here for sure. We have the Pearl Factory on the right and we'll just kind of loop around this way. And then over here on the right-hand side is an ABC store. If you haven't been to an ABC store before, it's kind of a cross between like a 7-Eleven, a Walmart, a Target. It has everything from sundries, souvenirs, uh, sunscreen, clothing, postcards, whatever you need. And this ABC store spans quite a bit. And then over here on the left-hand side, there's an Enterprise. And just to show you their hours, Enterprise is open 8 a.m. to 12 throughout the week. This place, ABC store along, this ABC store along with others also has the macadamia nut and Kona coffee. So we'll do a loop of the store area and then we'll go up to this main tower to show you guys what that looks like. So on the right hand side, another Japanese restaurant. You can take a look at their menu. Lunch, dinner. There's also the Waikiki Christmas store right in front of us here. Restrooms on the right hand side and then we'll circle back this way. Another store with some purses and handbags. Over here is a jewelry store and then we'll loop back around this way. Another souvenir store, jewelry, hats and so forth. This is the Rainbow Bazaar. So Lots of those smaller shops. Hanlu Cookie Company, great for souvenirs. If you want to grab some snacks, they have these and it shows photos of them here. They have smaller ones, the shortbread cookies, and then the larger gift sets too with the chocolate. And then to the left over here, we have the Stairmaster. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we're not going that way. <laughs> Another clothing store on the right hand side. Looks like a tattoo shop on the left. Honolulu Surf Company on the right. And then we're gonna loop back around to the restaurant we were just at by that Pearl Factory. So again, this entire property spans 22 acres and we're gonna take you on this real-time walk so you can see how far away things are, what it looks like, and get an idea for what it'd be like for you if you stay here or even if you don't stay here, if you wanna stop by here and get some shopping done. This property is huge, absolutely huge. We're back to that ABC store that we showed earlier in the video a few minutes ago, and then we're gonna head up to one of the towers to show you what their Mid-Pacific Conference Center looks like. If you're attending their luau, the luau, Starlight Luau, is typically hosted at the Mid-Pacific Conference Center, or it's hosted at the Great Lawn. So we'll head over this way to show you guys what that looks like. So up here, we've got the Mid-Pacific Conference Center, Coral Ballroom, some of the suites, and then a rooftop garden. So we'll head this way show you guys what that looks like. Let's see here. Elevators to the Mid-Pacific. So we're here on the first floor. Then Starlight Lua was Lua that I mentioned earlier, so we'll head up that way on the sixth floor it looks like. And then just behind us, just behind us, this is another map to kind of show you guys where we were. So the map is oriented a little bit different. So we came in from here. We walked by that first Starbucks. We cut through Kalia Tower. That's where we showed you guys the artwork that's over there. And now we're at the Mid-Pacific Conference Center here. This Rainbow Bazaar area was all the smaller shops and stores that we just walked through. And now we're gonna head up to the sixth floor um, to show you guys what this area looks like. Kind of take a peek that way to check out the Waikiki Starlight Liwa, their rooftop, head back down and then continue on with the rest of the property. Sixth floor. It's very, very humid here. There's, phew, it's hot. It's very, very hot. So we're definitely getting our steps in today. 
And we're only in the beginning. Again, this is a 22 acre oceanfront property. Um, if you're interested in seeing other oceanfront hotels and oceanfront properties, we made a video where we walk along the entire Waikiki Beach area so you can see what the beach in front of an oceanfront property looks like. Wow, this is huge. So over here would be where the Waikiki Starlight Luau would be. One of the two places it's hosted, whether it's here on top of the Mid-Pacific Conference Center or whether it is at the Great Lawn, which is on the ground level. We'll walk by the Great Lawn later. Um, it varies where it can be. Sometimes if it rains, it's moved inside the ballrooms and that doesn't really affect us now because right now it's summer, it typically doesn't rain that much. But if you were here during our rainy months, such as January or February, it would be more important. So this is where you would normally check in for the Luau whenever it's hosted over here on their rooftop. So all this area, check in where these smaller little huts are. Let's head this way to where the sign says Luau to see if that door is locked or not. If it is, if it isn't, we'll take a peek to show you guys what it looks like. If it is, we'll come back around. So these areas here are the different ballrooms for conferences, events. So this area you would typically walk down if you haven't been to this Luau before, this whole area would typically be packed full of people getting ready to check into the luau. They have different packages. I'll leave links in the description box below. Restroom over here on the left and then luau right over here. Right now it's mid-morning around 10 30, 11 o'clock or so. So that's why it's so empty and quiet in this area. Let's see if this is locked. No, oh, it is not locked. So this would be where the luau would be set. So just to kind of show you these different tables, typically when you buy the more expensive packages, like their gold circle and so forth, you'd be typically in this front section. Stage is here. So as you can see, it goes all the way around in like a semicircle. Those huts over there and then over here are typically where the buffet lines are. And typically the smaller buffet line over there is usually for the kids, like kid friendly items, like macaroni, chicken tenders, that kind of thing. I'll show you guys how far we are from the beach. So this luau, when it's hosted at the Mid-Pacific Conference Center or on the top of the Mid-Pacific Conference Center, like this layout shows right here, it is not oceanfront, but you are quite close to the beach. So if you're staying on property, this is a super convenient area. So we're here, the Hilton Lagoon is over there. And this area right below us is the Great Lawn. So it varies where they'll host it. You can always double check. Sometimes they'll change the location, but again, Great Lawn is over there. We're here on top of the Mid-Pacific Conference Center on the sixth floor. And then this is their buffet line um, if you were here for the luau. So super nice over here. There's lots of lighting, 100% um, outdoors. Again, if you are here during our rainy season and the luau is either canceled completely or sometimes it's just moved indoors to the ballroom, um, that's something to keep in mind as well. But right now, as we're filming this, it is mid-July. It's summer. We are sweating so we can show you. Ooh, it's hot. This AC is nice. We're, wow, that was actually that blast. That was a blast of AC. <laughs> so again, these are the different ballrooms that you can check out. We won't explore these ballrooms, um, but if you're here on a conference, for example, typically would be in this area, the Mid Pacific Conference Center. And again, we're on the sixth floor. The bottom floor is floors one through five is part of their parking structure. So when people say, "Oh, the Luau is on top of the parking structure," that would be the venue site. So you don't actually see the cars. You're you're above the the parking garage, sixth floor. And again, if you're staying here on property, it's really convenient, especially if you have little ones, you don't want to drive to any luau, you just want to stay on property. It makes it super easy and convenient. When it's hosted at the Great Lawn, I think that's probably one of the best options just because it's really close by, but sometimes it isn't hosted at the Great Lawn. Again, it depends on when you're booking the luau, what day they've got it scheduled, how many people. Um, those are all separate questions altogether, but it's very easy to access. We'll head this way. Let's see. So it looks like these are more conference rooms. Coral, Kalia Executive, Nautilus Suites. Okay, we'll just do a little pan of this and then we'll head on to show you the rest of the property. And this just shows you the executive area. So the different rooms that we had mentioned. And then over here is the Waikiki Starlet Luau. So that was the venue that we showed you earlier. So we just essentially walk down this path. And then all this area is what's up ahead. We're not gonna head down that way. We'll go ahead and head on to the rest of the venue.
And as I mentioned, we're on the sixth floor. Those lower floors are all for parking. And the Rainbow Bazaar was the area that we had first walked through with those different shops and restaurants. It's a scorcher. Now, if you like walkthrough videos like this one, as I mentioned, we had a video that we created for the oceanfront hotels. So we're walking along Waikiki Beach to show you what the beachfront in front of those oceanfront properties look like. Some of them, such as the Hilton, has a very wide stretch of beach. Some of them are a bit more narrow. Um, so we made a video starting at the Hilton Village, walking all the way towards Diamond Head, um, ending at the Moana Surfrider to show you what all the beach area looks like. There's different things you can rent while you're out there. They have beach chairs, umbrellas, different items, all for purchase. Of course, they are free of charge, but just to kind of show you what that beach area looks like. Okay, so now we're back where we were originally at the Rainbow Bazaar, so where all those smaller shops were. Then we're gonna continue on walking towards the beach over by Lappers, which is the ice cream store that's here on property. And then this was the Christmas store that we mentioned earlier, and then the Happy Wahine store. So a few items you can see in there, souvenirs, bags, clothing, and then the jewelry store that we mentioned earlier in the video. There's also crazy shirts on my left-hand side. This is the escalator that will get you to the ballrooms where we just were. And then we've got the Harley Davidson store to my left. Can we cut through or no? Oh, other way, sorry. Oops. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> we'll go this way then. Can we go this way? Maybe, we can try. Let's go this way. What's this? Oh yeah, we can. A nice little lunch spot they have here. And then another restaurant. We'll show you guys the menu. So breakfast favorites, omelets, pancakes, burgers, sandwiches, melts, and they also have a kid's menu as well. Over here on the right, we also have round table pizza. So we'll show you guys that menu. So they have starters, salads, lunch specials, sandwiches, Specialty pizzas. Getting kind of hungry. I'm getting all this food. <laughs> and over here, we've got some more clothing stores, another jewelry store, and another clothing store over here, too. So, again, if you forgot to pack some items in your suitcase, I wouldn't worry about it. You can literally purchase almost anything here. They've got cover ups, bikinis, clothing, food, snacks, jewelry, chocolate, coffee. And then this area over here is the main lobby on my left-hand side. So what we'll do is we'll walk past this ice cream store. We'll loop back around to show you guys what that main lobby looks like too. So on my right-hand side is Lappert's, the ice cream store, which if you've watched a couple of our other videos, you'll know that we've been here a lot. Wow, the line's actually really short today. Normally the line goes all the way down this way. And then on the right over here is the round table pizza that we had walked by earlier. So this is the ice cream store. And then over here was the round table pizza. And then this area right over here is that parking garage we were just at. And we had a clip earlier where we were standing just over there overlooking the Great Lawn. So this area to my, right in front of me, on my left is the Great Lawn area. So we'll head over this way. I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then we'll head over to the main lobby area. So Great Lawn over here, and then there's some small signage over there that says that the Luau has now been relocated to the Mid-Pacific Conference Center rooftop where we just were. But another option for a venue, again, depending on when the Luau is booked and what days you're going, you can always check at the time of booking. And that also earlier in the video, we had mentioned there's two different entrance points. So the area that we had mentioned before, this area is the straightaway that we had mentioned which loops back around to the main entrance, or you can come in from that direction as well that we had walked through. So either way, this is the main um, hotel check-in area. Or if you're having a taxi, this is where you'd be dropped off to. And then to my right-hand side over here is Rainbow Tower. You've probably seen that in some of our other videos, Rainbow Tower um, on the opposite side by the Hilton Lagoon. Oh, okay. 
So over to the right is Bali. We're gonna head over here to show you the check-in and then we'll loop back around this way. So right here is where you would normally check in. So valet parking, taxi, hotel check-in would be here. And again, at the time of this filming, it's maybe around 11 or 12. Check-in is normally around three, um, but just to kind of show you what the lobby looks like. So check-in over there. And then over here are some of the pools. So we'll head up to the very front. And then just to kind of give you a little bit of, um, to kind of get your bearings, over there is the Tropics restaurant, Ocean in front of us. That pier over there is the one you've seen in other videos that has the Port Hilton cruises where you can get snorkeling tours, sunset tours, afternoon sails. That's also where the boat for Atlanta submarine picks up to take you to the submarine. And then directly in front over there by the beach is where you'll see um, the beach chairs and umbrellas that you can rent as well. So we'll loop this way. We'll show you a little bit more of the property. We come in from that front entrance, Lapworth is on the right. We'll head down this set of stairs and then we'll show you a little bit more of the property. So on the left-hand side over here is that pool that I mentioned earlier. There's a few different pools throughout the entire property. So no matter where you stay or where you're staying in the property, lots of places to swim. And the tower to my right-hand side is Rainbow Tower. And the restaurant over here is Bali Ocean Run. We'll take a peek inside of the restaurant to show you guys what that looks like. And then there's also the surf shop on my right-hand side, Volcom, which is right over here. If you are staying here at the pool, lots of different lounge area on the right, and then we'll head up here to Bali Oceanfront. And we'll show you guys a little bit of the menu as well. For here we have their breakfast menu, 7 to 11.30, fresh fruit, we have specialties, avo toast. And then we'll go over here for a quick second and then show you guys what their dinner menu also looks like. So dinner menu, Ooh, they have a really nice steak it looks like, scallops, clams, lots of different sides. And then we'll take a little bit up here to kind of get a bit of a glance. So lots of open area here. And then just to show you how close you are. So we're here and then ocean is directly over there. So super nice, gorgeous, open air, really pretty. We'll go ahead and head down and show you guys some more of the property. And if you've been watching any of our videos, you'll know that I really like food. <laughs> so as you can see, that's why we're focusing on the menus. There's lots of things to eat. You can try local food, you can do American style food, lots of kid-friendly menus. So if the kids are picky eaters, there's lots of things that they can eat here as well. Okay, we'll loop along this way. So coming up ahead, on the right hand side, way, way over there, just out of frame, is gonna be the Hilton Lagoon that we typically will film by. Then over here is a small surf shop on the left hand side where you can have the rentals, like the beach chairs and the umbrellas. We'll walk by that and show you guys what you're able to rent. And you can also get surf lessons here too. And then just over here. So they have the beach chairs for $24, umbrellas, lagoon rentals, such as the rafts, tubes, kayaks that you can go on the Hilton Lagoon, different catamaran trips as well. As you can see, it's quite busy right now. Again, mid-June, around 11 o'clock. On the left-hand side is How Tree Bar. We'll stop by there later to show you guys what that looks like. It's right by the pool. And then the restaurant on my right-hand side where the orange umbrellas are is Tropics. The one with the green umbrella over there is Atlanta Submarine's kiosk. So typically, if you book the submarine, you would check in at that kiosk and then you would walk across to the pier, which is on our right-hand side. From there, you'd board a small boat, which will take you out to where the submarine drop zone is. 
We've also done videos for that, for all actually all those activities that I mentioned, and I'll leave links in the description box below if you want to check out activity reviews for the submarine or even the Hilton cruises, whether it's our snorkeling, firework sale, sunset sale. We have lots of videos for you guys to check out. Okay, so this is kind of the end of that property. Um, just to the right hand side is the Halekoa Hotel. Again, this is Tropic, so we'll cut across this way. Excuse us. And then over here on my left hand side are the self service lockers that I mentioned earlier in the video. They have these throughout the property as well, where you can purchase the rentals, leave your phone in there. Um, they also have chargers that are in there too, either cash or card. On the right hand side is Tropics. And then there's also the Wiki Wiki Market. This is more like a grab and go kind of place. So if you're heading to the beach, you want to grab some snacks, you could head in there to grab some food and then take it out with you to the beach. And then I'll show you guys up here where the map is so we can see kind of where we are. So we are located just here. So we had originally started the corner of Alamoana Boulevard and Kalia Road. We had started here right by that Starbucks. We took you guys, or taking you guys through here, the Rainbow Bazaar. We went to the sixth floor of the Mid Pacific Conference Center where that luau was. We passed by all this yummy food. And then we headed down this way, showed you guys the great lawn area, looped around this way. Over by the Hilton Lagoon, we showed you guys Bali steak and seafood, that oceanfront restaurant. We just passed over there where the Dairy Queen is, cut across, pool, and now we're over here. So again, just kind of going this direction. So as you can see on the right hand side, a lot of other shops that are here too. There's a rip curl, lots of places to buy swimwear if you wanted more or if you forgot things. Plenty of places here. Again, this property is open for non-hotel guests as well, so you can definitely come here to go shopping. But if you were here, staying here, there's almost everything you need. <laughs> Over to my right hand side is Ali'i Tower. And then we'll loop along this side of here to show you guys some more of the stores. We have Olukai over here if you need footwear. Super comfy footwear. And then over here, a few other shops. So some more clothing shops. Another Starbucks that's over here. We'll kind of loop along this way. So another Starbucks on that side. Some more places to buy souvenirs behind us. Clothing on the left, clothing on the right. Lots of places to shop within the village. <laughs> Over here we have a quilt store and also more souvenirs. We'll loop back over here to show you guys the chapel as well. As you're walking throughout the Hilton Village, you'll see a lot of the signage. So if you're curious and you want to learn a little bit more, they have signage throughout the entire property explaining the different sculptures, the history behind it. All this area is paved. Our right hand side over here is the chapel. There is a wedding in progress, so we're not going to walk in that direction, but just to kind of show you what this area looks like. And then on the left hand side of here is all the seating. And of course, the chapel on the right hand side. So two floors, one right above us. And then staircase going up here, man-made waterfall, of course, on the right. Little covered area on the right hand side over here. And then on my left hand side, a few other shops. We're gonna head this way and show you guys the Tapa Tower or Tapa Bar area. On the left, a few luxury stores, you have Louis Vuitton. And then we also have another little shop over there for more clothing. If you watched our previous video, you'll notice we do a lot of filming here at the Hilton Village. That's the Aloha sign that was in a previous video. And then we're gonna cut through here to show you guys what the Tapa Bar looks like. On my left-hand side is that Rainbow Bazaar area that we were in earlier where all those shops are. And a bit farther down is gonna be that restaurant, that teppanyaki restaurant that I mentioned earlier. And then we'll cut through here. It is, again, morning at the time of this filming, but in the afternoon, late evening, they have live music here too. So you have the Pick a Pearl on the right-hand side. And then Tapa Bar over here on the right hand side as well. It's all open air. And just to kind of show you guys the menu. So we have salads, burgers, fries, pizza. And then in terms of drinks, they've got lots of cocktails, spirits, wines, beers, different options.
Most of the restaurants here, like most Hawaii restaurants, are going to be open air restaurants. There's another pool on the right hand side, a gallery on our left hand side, and we're going to head to the Grand Islander lobby and bus terminal. Lots and lots of shops here. On the left hand side, another clothing shop. And then over here on the right hand side, you can see different signage for history, different options here. Lots of signage to read. And then on the left hand side, again, is that Rainbow Bazaar we were just at and that teppanyaki restaurant that we went to. So we kind of just made a semicircle around. On the left hand side here, another surf shop, a good spot to grab some cover ups, swimsuits, clothing. And Martin and MacArthur on our left hand side, really nice for gifts. On the right hand side, another shop. And then another ABC store as well. And again, ABC stores, if you haven't been to one or aren't familiar, it's again a cross between like a 7 Eleven, a Target, a Walmart, has everything. We can kind of take a glance. There's like alcohol, there's sunscreen, clothing, snacks, beverages, souvenirs, t shirts. And then a few other shops here. On the right, a sun, um, excuse me, a sunglass store. And on the left, another clothing store. On the left, another shoe store as well. So we've walked a little bit around and then this area over here is for a lot of the different tour and shuttle pickups. Now there's different pickup locations within Waikiki, different pickup locations within the Hilton Village. So it's always good to double check which specific area you're being picked up at, whether it's the um, Hilton Lagoon area by that main check-in desk, whether it's here at the bus depot. There's again, different areas within the Hilton Village. So you always wanna double check which pickup location you're set for. So straight in front of us is the tour and shuttle bus area. We'll walk inside to show you guys kind of a little bit of what that looks like. It is fully enclosed, air conditioned. This is where a lot of the motor coaches will pick up. So again, we're at the Hilton Hawaiian Village bus terminal. So small area here, and this connects over to the Grand Islander. And then over here, So over here where a lot of the shuttles will pick up be in this area. Okay. Then there's a map over here that we'll show you guys. So just to kind of show you where we are, we're over here by the Grand Islander and it's showing you how far we are to the main lobby. So if you came in from this direction, you were dropped off, whether it's by shuttle, tour bus or so forth, and you want to get to the front desk to check in, we'll just go this way. You can go this way. <laughs> Again, throughout the entire area, this property is huge. There's property maps, again, throughout the entire area, so you can easily find where you're going. And then above us, there's signage showing you, for example, where the main lobby is, what tower you're heading to, parking, the Rainbow Bazaar. Overall, there is a lot you can see and do here at this property. I hope this walkthrough helped you guys show you a little bit of what the property looks like. Again, we tried to film all of this in real time so you can see, again, we've been walking for probably close to half an hour and we still haven't covered everything in the property. We've hit a lot of it. We're just gonna take a look at this property map to kind of show you where we're at. So again, we made kind of a semicircle. This was the first Starbucks that we headed to. So again, that intersection where we were, we were at the Alamona Boulevard and Kalia Road intersection right by that Starbucks. The intro of this video was filmed right over here by this, um, by the sign for Hilton Village. We cut across, we showed you guys where that Starbucks is. All this area was the Rainbow Bazaar where we had those restaurants, the smaller shops. We headed up to the Mid-Pacific Conference Center. We headed up to the sixth floor. That's where the Hilton's Luau was held. When we were overlooking that area where we filmed that section, we were right here overlooking the Great Lawn. We looped by the Lagoon Tower, showed you guys the Great Lawn, headed this way. This is that main lobby area where you could check in. Ice cream store was here. And then Bali Steak and Seafood that we had showed you guys was over here. Looped back around, showed you guys where the, um, the Hilton Pier was located as well as where you would check in for the submarine. Headed this way to show you guys Tropics. That was the restaurant that we saw with the orange umbrellas and the grab and go market here looped back around and we walked down this main area here. So we are located just here at the edge. The street directly in front of us is Kalia Road. And then if we were to go straight and take an immediate left and walk maybe about a hundred feet or so, we'd be back to where we started. So the route we did just like this, counterclockwise. The last part that we're gonna show you guys, we're gonna head over to one of the towers to show you guys what the pool looks like. Although we are oceanfront, Pool is of course super important, especially if you're traveling with kiddos and you want to see what that looks like. 
Hilton Village, I would say, is probably one of the most family-friendly resorts because they have so many swimming pools. Even walking through, we've seen tons of families here as well. Again, Hilton Village, not to be confused with the Hilton Waikiki, which is located on Kuhio Avenue, and that one is not oceanfront. Typically, at least from what I've seen, the Hilton Waikiki, the other property, it's very popular with business travelers. And the Hilton Village is the one that's more popular for families, groups. The different towers have different types of rooms. Some of them are regular rooms. Some of them are suites. I have a friend who actually has a timeshare here too. So those are the multi-bedroom suites that you can also get to. And we're back to that area where we showed you guys those the little bits of signage showing the history of the Hilton Village. Lots of signage, so front desk registration, so we'll head this way. And on the left-hand side is the Tapa Bar that we were talking about earlier, where they have the live music in the evenings, closer to around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. So lots of signage here. And then we'll loop back around over here to where um, one of the other pools is located. If you like walkthrough videos like this, and we have a whole series, a hotel walkthrough series, where we walk through different hotel lobbies, showing you guys what it looks like. We'll be doing room tours coming up soon. For now, we do have a lot of walkthrough videos showing you guys what it looks like. So again, this one is the top of tower area, showing you guys what the smaller pool looks like. Lots of pools throughout the entire property. And the area, that building right over there in front of us, that's the chapel we had walked by earlier in the video, and then the bar that we had walked by earlier too. We have gotten all of our steps in. Testing, testing, testing. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> We're starting. We have gotten all of our steps in. Oh, I'm out of breath. I do, I do want to stop. Oh, this AC is nice. We're, wow, that was actually, that blast, that was a blast of AC. <laughs> so.